Hi everyone, welcome to US Immigration Hub channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the NVC processing times update uh, for October 28, 2024. In this video as well, we are going to talk about the case transition from USCIS to NVC and also case transition from NVC to consulate for immigrant visas and K visas, just to simplify the immigration process for new people watching this channel. We also, we are going to include November visa bulletin and October NVC backlog report just to see what's going on at NVC. If you are new to this channel, my name is Sliman and I make videos for a family-based immigration to simplify the immigration process and give you a confidence to go through your immigration journey by yourself. First of all, I am not an attorney. I'm here to help you based on the information they have from NVC website. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and give us a big like so YouTube can share the video with more people. So if you're ready, let's go for it. This is a NVC time frames. We have three of them. First one is a current case file creation time. Second one is a current case review time. Third one is a current public inquiry form response time. The top two are crucial to your case. You must understand them. We are going to define them, then give the processing times. Before we do that, let's talk about the case transition from USAS to NBC. What does it mean? Once USAS approves your petition, they will send you I-797, like I-797, I'm sorry, approved notice, telling you that they approved your petition and these approved uh, notices have some important information about the petitioner and the applicant. And at the meantime, NVC will, I'm sorry, USAS will send your approved petition for NVC for processing. NVC will receive your case, enter the data from your petition into the system, then create your credentials, and then send you uh, the login credentials in a welcome letter, like this one right here. This is two welcome letters. And this process works for both for K visa and uh, other type of visas, such as, <coughs> excuse me, CR and AR uh, visas. So the left hand side is for uh, immigrant visas, immigrant visa, and you have NVC case number and the invoice ID number. For the right hand side is for K visa, he has only case number. From here, these two visas takes different path. The immigrant visa, it will stay at NVC and it will do everything at NVC. While case, uh, while a K visa, it will go through uh, US. I'm sorry, www.uscravelducks.com. So now we defined the current case file creation time. Now let's talk about the processing times. As of today. 28 October 2024 in VC, it's working on the cases that were received from the USAS on the 16th October 2024. Last week, they were working on the cases that were received from the USAS on the 8th October 2024. Ah, this is a visa bulletin for uh, November visa bulletin. As you can see, uh, there is a movement for uh, F2B for Mexico, the priority date now is 1st August 2005. For F3 visa, there's a good movement all around the world, including China and India, excluding Mexico, of course, and the Philippines. Now the priority date is 1st uh, July 2011. For F4, there is uh, two movements, one for India. Now the priority date is 15 June 2006, and for Philippines is 1st August 2006. Now let's talk about the K visa. This is a welcome letter. We already talked about it. As I mentioned, it has a case number. That's what you need to complete your immigration journey at www.usravdocs. Once you receive your welcome letter, it's time to go to check your status. How we do that? Just go online and type visa status check, click on the first link, and it's going to take you to this page right here. One text I want to give you right here for visa application type, 
make sure you select immigrant visa do not select immigrant visa this is a lot of people ask me this question if you select it right here non immigrant visa it will not give you no status so make sure you select immigrant visa then immigrant visa case number you will have it from your welcome letter like this one right here this is a case number and then you enter the code shown this one just characters right here and then click submit once you click submit it's going to give you a status if it is ready it's time to go create your profile how you do that it is very simple just go online www i'm sorry www.ustravdax.com and then click on your user and follow the steps and you will create your uh, profile and i have a video on my channel on how to do that if you want to watch it once now you create your profile you have your login credentials and, and you log into your account it's going to show like this you can apply for a visa you must pay for a visa fee complete your days 160 and schedule your interview one one uh, once like you start filing a days 160 make sure you write the application id and security question down if you don't remember them there is no way you can go back and call it and uh, uh, open the days uh, 160. Do not submit DS 260 until you get the confirmation pay uh, until you get confirmation email from embassy or consulate in your country. Then you can uh, submit DS 160 and start scheduling your interview. This is once you schedule now interview, you will receive a confirmation email from uh, embassy or consulate in your country to tell you that you schedule an interview for this date and of course at the time where and the location where you will have interview now let's switch to immigrant visas such as crnar this is a welcome letter as i mentioned it has nvc case number and the invoice id number and it has a link if you click on this link right here it's going to take you to the sign in page you will need a case number once you enter the case number it's going to take you to the next page where you can enter the invoice id number you choose the one that apply for you you have four options and then you enter the character shown above and click on continue and it's going to take you to your main NPC account make sure this information right is right this is the bottom of your NPC account you must pay the fees first before you know you, you cannot do anything until you pay the fees you must pay affidavit of support fee then IB fee <coughs> excuse me and both fee you must pay them separately you pay the fee, then you start applying affidavit to support and financial uh, evidence. Then once you pay IV fee, you can start uh, filing DS 260. Once you complete DS 260, you start uh, applying civil document. They, are, they have a process here. If your payout uh, pay now button is not enabled, you must wait for a confirmation email from uh, from NVC to uh, for these uh, buttons right to be enabled. Sometimes they grayed out or not enabled. You must wait for this email right here from MVC telling you that they are ready to collect the fee from you. Now, let's go to the second NVC processing times, which is a current case review time. As of today, 28 October 2024, NVC is reviewing documents submitted to them on the 18th October 2024. Last week, they were reviewing documents on uh, submitted to them on the 11th October 2024. Now, let's define it. Before NBC, uh, you know, review your document, you must pay all the fees, submit all required documents, such as the petitioner, supporting uh, documents for, uh, for the petitioner, and the applicant DS 260, and the applicant civil document. This is a petitioner document. Once you click on them, they're going to show missing. Uh, you must upload them. How you upload them? It is very simple. I have a video on my channel on how to upload them. Once you upload them, the status will change to uploaded and then you will have a date once now we are applauding you must submit them how we do that just click on submit and your documents will be submitted to nvc once now submitted to nvc that's the date they are talking about right here the current case review time if you don't understand it this is how they come up with that this is a current case review time the date they are talking about it could be on the petition side or applicant side same way for applicant document once you click on them they're going to show missing uh, you click on uh, you upload them i have a video on my channel on how to do that as well then you upload them once you upload them you're gonna click on submit and the status will change as well to submit it this is the case this is the date they're talking about the current case review time once now 
you submit all required documents in VC, we'll work on them and they're gonna accept them sometimes just one by one, sometimes all of them at the same time. Once they accept them and uh, they send you uh, an email, they will send you an email telling you that your case, uh, your immigrant visa case becoming document you qualify means they do not need no more uh, document from you and they will work with consular to schedule interview for you. That's a case transition from NVC to consular. Now, once they schedule interview for you, they will send you an email telling you that they schedule an interview for you and they will give you the time, the location where you, you will have interview. This is NVC immigrant visa backlog uh, for uh, October. For, I'm sorry, for, uh, for October, yeah. Uh, they have uh, 413, 264 uh, documentary qualified cases as of September 30. They scheduled 50,022 uh, uh, interviews for October 2024, and the backlog was, uh, was down 363 to uh, 242, which is good. The backlog went down a little bit, which is good. If you check the status at this point, uh, from your NVC account, it will show at the city where you will have interview. And if you check it from online, it will show it's ready, means it's ready for interview. Now, let's go to the last NVC processing time, which is the current public inquiry form response time. As of today, 28 October 2024, NVC is responding to inquiries received on the 10th October 2024. Last week, they were working on inquiries received on the 15th October 2024. NVC is doing a great job on this one because they know people have questions. To send an inquiry to NVC, it is very simple. Just go, go online and type NVC, uh, NVC inquiries and it's going to take you, uh, click on the first link and it's going to take you to this page right here. You will need NVC case number or US, USCIS receipt number. You will need the principal applicant full name. You will need date of birth in the format day, month and year. You will need a petition full name and who is filing this, in, uh, this inquiry. Then you will need a valid email address, and then you can enter your inquiry right here. The good things about this inquiry, you can enter five, you, you can attach five attachments, which is good if you have a supporting document with your inquiry, which is good. Then you're gonna check a narrow path and click submit, and your, and your inquiry will be sent to NVC, and uh, NVC will receive it, they will process it, and they will get back to you within a couple of days. So this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Thank you and see you next video.